Special Ed talks about the power of programming and how he intentionally programmed his song, I Got It Made, his biggest hit, to be programmed into the audience's heads. And it was by the words that he was saying. Listen to him as he breaks it down. Check it out. Exactly how it's properly done. That record has outlived the test of time. Of Amen. Like, I, I I, don't think there's no party in the world. I was going to say America. But I don't think there's no party in the world that you can't put that on and everyone knows yeah. that record. Well, well, you know what it is? It's about programming. So the same way they program in negativity, I was programming mm. positivity and empowerment. Mm. I'm your idol. Your, your highest, highest idol. idol. So, mm. Right. So when you say those words, right. you're empowering yourself. Mm. You manifest mm. greatness, godliness. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that's what that was really about. And that's why it resonates, in my opinion. That's that's why right. I still resonate the way it do. Right. And then in addition, I wasn't talking brand names and dating myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, never, I, Gucci, I don't free Farragama, advertise. Yeah. I no free advertising. Right. Y'all ain't free advertising. Right. 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 No, 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 okay, no. then. No, we outside. I was Stop never. Stop paying. <laughs> never. I was never into that. You mm, feel me? Mm. And this is a key reason why I Got It Made is a classic because it doesn't have any of that dated material that was out back in the days like Benetton, MCM, and you know, driving Jettas and everything like that. He didn't put none of that stuff in there. So now it can stand the test of time because it's strictly about the core lyrics and that just keeps going on and on and on. That's a good point. Let's get back into it. And um, and I was ghostwriting too at that age. Like when wow. I was 15 years old, I ghost, so I wrote a record for the real Roxanne. Now you know if the record contracts back in them days was real shady, you really know that the ghostwriting, they probably wasn't getting paid anything. Let's see what Special Ed had to say about the ghostwriting. Oh, wow. Right, and um, they never paid me, so I like to go straight. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, y'all robbing, robbing kids? <laughs> Out of here, man. Well, there you have it. Special Ed didn't get paid off Ghost Right for Real Rock Sand. But let's get a brief history of I Got It Made. Its peak position on the rap charts went up to number nine, and it peaked out on the R&B charts at number 18. Now, you have to remember back in these days, R&B was really R&B. It wasn't mixed in with hip hop. So R&B, they had all the greats um, still living at the time. Michael Jackson, Prince. You had all the, the groups. You had New Edition to Guy. All these people was on the R&B charts at the time. So if you had a rap song and it crossed over to the R&B charts, you kind of did your thing. And the, the special thing about I Got It Made, it was off his album, Youngest in Charge. And that album was released on May 16, 1989, which happens to be his birthday of May 16th. Even though he was born in 1972, it, it came out on the day that on his birthday. Like, share, subscribe. We out.